What? Hello, Al. I'm all by myself. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's walking around with these those masks with the long beaks on. <laughs> I'm like, come on, it's not that bad yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting all my food delivered. <laughs> oh, oh, really? The wrong apartment. I gotta fix it. <laughs> <laughs> What what have you been what if so you're all by yourself? You don't have a special lady with you? No. <laughs> she, she left. She went did she go out to get some cigarettes? And she never came back. <laughs> <laughs> also she never existed. <laughs> Now, Al, why? What happened? You know, I just watched The Godfather again the other night. Godfather one, fantastic work. Fredo, your mother, brother. I can do Young Al Pacino too. Oh, can you? Fredo, your mother, brother, and I love you, but don't ever take science against the family again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he can do Young. It's, it's not how I. I'm not. No. Go, go ahead. Now, who says that? I'm talking about a dirty cop here. Was mixed up in drugs and the rackets. <laughs> Where does it say you can't shoot a cop like that? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Nice. Like, can you say? Oh, you with your college? Oh, you're gonna get blown all over college suit for bang. It was that movie. So, <laughs> I, 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 hey, how about it? Shut the door. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Hey, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you did it really make me laugh you know that <laughs> yeah you want to talk business let's talk business first of all you're all done the Corleone only family doesn't have that kind of muscle anymore the godfather's sick right you're being bitch. chased out of Brooklyn by Barzini the other families you want to come here and tell me I'm doing my business wrong <laughs> holy oh. shit now I just think you're unlucky <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you want to come here? You want to come here and tell me how to do my business, Mike? Is that what you want to do? Tell me how to do my business? Oh my God! You do Mo Green? Is that why you slap my brother around in public? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hey, Mikey, that was nothing. <laughs> sure, sure, Mo flies off the handle every now and again, but we're, we're good pals, right? We're good buddies. <laughs> He was banging cocktail waitresses two at a time. People at the table couldn't get a drink. I'm trying to run a business here. I got to straighten some people out to get it done. Yuck, oh, my God. You had to straighten my brother out? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was amazing. I've seen that movie a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> you can really make me laugh, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no one else does that, Care? I don't think. She made me look ridiculous. <laughs> and a man in my position cannot afford to be made ridiculous. <laughs> that's a long sentence. Wow. I'm not giving it up. As I don't care how many of you guinea dagos come out of the woodwork. <laughs> as, actually, I'm German-Irish. <laughs> my Kraut my Mick friend. My Kraut Mick friend. <laughs> <laughs> that was such... He didn't skip a step. Did, did didn't skip, skip a skip step. Me. I'm actually german -Irish. Well, then my Kraut Mick friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking for... I don't know. I was just thinking of watching The Apartment with Jack Lemmon. <gasps> oh, well, uh, I've never seen it, but I'm sure it's a fine film. <laughs> now, I'm, now, I'm older than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. How are you? How old are you? You fucking child. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> oh, my. That's, like mid, that's mid -rate, remember? Like mid, like. <laughs> that was what he was Tony Montana. Yeah, that was mid. That wasn't God. That was to Tony Montana. No, that was, uh, uh, what was his name in that movie? Tony Mike? Uh, Rick, Ricky Roma. Ricky Roma. Oh, uh, you're doing, you're doing, uh, Glenn Gary. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Uh, yeah. Are you going to, are you going downtown? Are you going to, <laughs> are 
Are you going to Mitch and Murray? I will. Oh yeah, I will talk to Mitch and Murray. I will talk to Lipkin. <laughs> oh, remember that part? Yeah, That's there's like he there's reveals a reveals there's someone above Mitch <laughs> above and Murray. Mitch and Murray. Like holy! I will sh- talk to Mitch and Murray. I, I will talk <laughs> to Lipkin. Lipkin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's not fucking <laughs> oh, oh, Lemkin. Oh, shit. Like, even even he, the other guy couldn't call uh, call Lemkin. Like, holy shit, Ricky. Yeah, once you fucking Lemkin someone, you should work that into your, <laughs> yeah. your uh, fucking vocabulary. Yeah. Somebody wrote, Music for Life said, <clears throat> she was the best piece of ass I ever had, and I had and them I all had over the, the world. the best in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I wake up the next morning. She brings me a cafe au in a cafe au lait in bed. My balls are like concrete. <laughs> Wait, did he say that? He said that. <laughs> Wait, Wolf of Whips or Wolf? No, no, wolf no, 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 no. Uh, Ricky Roma. Ricky Ricky Roma was telling a story. Do you remember? Uh, and it had ended. It was all about how he's having sex with this woman. <clears throat> And how he got her in bed. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, you're a real asshole. You know that? <laughs> no, I'm older than you. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Shell. That shit you were slinging. Well, look, I could sell, I could sell all, all sorts of shit. I just got to get those leads. <laughs> I have to, you got to give me some of those leads. I know I could sell them. <laughs> It'd be like the old days, getting out there in the rain. That's the leads. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <clears throat> do you do an Alec Baldwin? I've t- toyed with it. Always be closing. That was quite a. That was a uh, oh, leg- yeah. legendary scene. People love saying that. Always that. be closing. <laughs> oh, if he is for closers. Put that down. <laughs> you think I'm fucking with you? I am not fucking with you, Jimmy. I'm getting the distinct impression that you're done talking about politics for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Dore, finally, he's gotten tired and sick of politics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have finally gotten tired and sick of politics. Yes, I have. You know what I wish I could do? I wish I could go call Steve-O and go for sushi at our favorite secret sushi place and then have um, George Clooney walk in <clears throat> and have to eat sushi staring at a wall. Oh, that's yeah. I know that's the best way to eat it. Quite frankly, that's the way that you know these Japanese chefs. They say if you really want to experience a good sushi, <laughs> yeah. if you really want sushi the right way, sushi. <laughs> oh my God! You know he said that. <laughs> you gotta have the rice hot. You gotta have the rice hot, and you have to be staring at a blank fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not distracted by anything visually. So your brain, your mind, can focus on the sushi. Or the sash. <laughs> you know, true story. <clears throat> oh, lay it on me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I go in there with Steve O, maybe it was the second time, I don't know. But I remember I had read, I was reading a review, and they casually meds, hey, maybe you'll get lucky. George Clooney's known to frequent here. And when you get there, it's such a nondescript sushi place it's it doesn't look nice you don't expect it to be good and it's fantastic of course that's why we're there and it was a friday night there was no one in the place except george clooney and a table of five other people that was it there was is this them and us and again that's when i figured out i gotta tell you that was one of the most awkward nights of my life <laughs> <laughs> i'm there with my special lady <laughs> you, you, you know that moment when you to get the whole restaurant to yourself it's like ah this is heaven yeah 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 and then, and then uh, these, these two jabronis walk in and they're staring <laughs> and they just, they're loud this one guy just a loud talker <laughs> just would that be really high just screaming <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was very discomforting. <laughs> so I go to the bathroom. There's no one else in the place. I go to the bathroom. As I'm walking out of the bathroom to come back to sit at the counter, I <clears throat> George Clooney is standing, talking to the chef, 
but he's doing it from like eight feet away. He's not right up on the counter. So now I have to walk in between them. And so as I walk out, I notice he's they're talking and like <laughs> I stop. Like my my instinct is to stop as if they're like about to take a picture, but they're not about to take a picture. They're talking. And so I stop for like a second or two and I realize I can't stop because they're gonna keep talking. I go, it's okay if I walk through <laughs> their <laughs> conversation. That's okay. That's not rude. But still, for some reason, as I walk through, I ducked down. Like a fucking idiot. I'm like, oh my, I am such a moron around <laughs> celebrities. It's always, ah, I am so, ah. Uh, that's what makes me so forgiving whenever I meet people. And they're always like, oh, I didn't mean, it's like, no, I'm the, nobody's a bigger moron when they meet a celebrity than me. But at least this loud talking guy had the presence of mind to duck. <laughs> he, did sort of a, he did sort of a bow. He's sort of a deferential kind of thing. And you know, I appreciate that when people make that gesture. <laughs> It was. You know, it was. I know. It's, I'm such a. I like a little deaf. You know what I'm saying? A little deaf. Deference. Deaf. I a call little deaf. You call it deaf? <laughs> deaf. Hi, deaf. Yeah. <laughs> he gave me a little deaf jam, old deference. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Is, is, uh, is Vince Vaughn, last time we talked, was not going to abide by social distancing because. <laughs> He didn't want the government to tell him what to do. Do you know if he still, has he gained any respect for the power of the coronavirus? I don't know, man. That's a good question. <laughs> who, who, oh, oh. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm still on the fence about it. <laughs> well, if you're on the fence. What about you? Why, what are you doing? I, I mean, you're not staying at home, are you? Yeah, 100%, baby. What are you doing? We don't There's even... a whole wide world out there, baby. Yeah, I know. No. This is the best time to go out. There's no one around. <laughs> LA's your oyster. Yeah. Everything's closed. I rode my bike down the 405 the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, in retrospect, still wasn't a good idea, but I did it. <laughs> No, you can go out and buy. I mean, we go, we can, we go out for walks and things, but we keep our social distance six feet from people, and uh, we, you know, just to walk our dog and what have you. But we can't. We, you can't go out. There's nowhere to go. Well, yeah, I mean, well, you got to make places to go. <laughs> no, Vince, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go to Ralph's? Break in, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> no, they're twenty four hours, baby. Well, be yeah, well, they go there. No, I don't want to go there. People are going to get the coronavirus. Vince, I have underlying. Oh, you're wor oh, you're worried about it. That's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the difference. See, I'm not worried about anything. <laughs> and you're worried about everything. You're not even worried about your career. That's a funny. Why would now? Why would I be, baby? <laughs> well, I don't know. What was the last big movie you did? I don't know. I have to go to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? You, I wasn't prepared for a, a, a fact-based interview based on this. <laughs> was it Hacksaw Ridge or something like that? That sounds, you know, something. Was that a big movie even? Or is it just I remember the name of it? I don't know. I, 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 had to, I, I probably did something since then. Since Hacksaw? Well, I was, hey, I was in our whole season of Kirby Enthusiasm. How about that? Was he? Yeah, like, well, the best. Yeah, the best comedy show that exists. I was on it for a season, so suck it. Was it really? Honest, I, 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 I didn't watch that show like everyone else. I watched a, I tried to, I watched one episode, and it was like it. I didn't like it, and the, so I never watched it again. It was like, okay, well then, I, then you and I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. Obviously, I, I'm the one who's wrong on this because the rest of the world thinks it's the best show in the world, right? Well, I mean, you're on an island on that. That's for sure. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're completely, you know, you know uh, ostracized by your peers. But yeah, you stand alone. So now, what? What would be? Uh, now you're more of a libertarian, Vince. What would be a libertarian? I had a libertarian. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is right. Yes. Now you, you know why? Why? I believe in liberty. <laughs> yeah. And that's why you're a libertarian. Exactly. You see, I mean, you got to go to the root of the word. Yeah. So now, you, what would be? How would you apply libertarian principles to solve this pr pandemic? 
well, I think you need to let the free market take a look at the problem <laughs> and then have the government step out of the way. <laughs> well, well, don't you think the free market, I mean, why don't they just open more hospitals and stuff and build more ventilators? Why does the government have to order that stuff? Well, that, this all probably all would have happened if it weren't for the government standing in the way. That's what you think? Yeah, so it's, it's really just more red tape is stopping help from getting there? Yeah, if the government weren't there, all of this, all of this, all the hospitals, because there would have been a demand. The government's interfering with demand. <laughs> the government's interfering with demand. So I mean, and so all the curves, all the laughter curves and everything would all work out <laughs> fine without the government <laughs> interference. Okay, all right. People people want uh, you know, COVID-19 tests, they'd be able to get COVID-19 tests. Oh. Want ventilators would be able to get ventilators. Are because you... there would be a demand from the public that's not being interfered with by federal government, by a third party. Vince, are you able to get a COVID-19 test? I hear rich people can get them. I don't want that shit up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. <laughs> and then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?